Hi, I'm David Davis. And I'm Amanda Bowler. And we're associate editors of the Daily Texan. And today we're talking to students about their views on political ideologies. I grew up in Utah, which is extremely conservative, but my family is always very liberal. Um, I agree with all the liberal, I guess you could say civil rights issues of the day. Um, and as a woman, I feel like that's the only way to go. I honestly don't feel like I identify with either, honestly, because I don't know enough about either to really stick to one on a regular basis. Uh, conservative. Conservative? Okay, and why is that? Um, it's my traditional when my parents brought me up, um, my personal um, ideals and morality. Liberal. Why is that? I feel like liberal suits at least my lifestyle choices and uh, things that I feel guide my humanitarian like ethics. Yeah, so like libertarian is actually a little bit of conservative ideology and a little bit of uh, liberal ideology. So as far as elections go, um, I vote for conservatives just for um, economic reasons but um, again libertarianism is like social liberalism so we're all for like gay marriage and marijuana legalization or decriminalization at college you're exposed to a whole range of different political views and you are molded by all your professors who whether they like it or not influence you greatly when uh, they discuss their views on certain issues and topics college is definitely a time to explore your own beliefs and try all different things, but um, it's, it's still, you have your own personal opinions. <laughs> Neither of them. <laughs> Neither of the main candidates. I honestly think Kathy Glass, who's the uh, Libertarian Party of Texas gubernatorial candidate, should be. Um, but if I had to pick one of the two major parties, I'd pick Greg Abbott only because, again, like the fiscal issues. <laughs> Definitely Wendy Davis. I saw her with the filibuster and that's the first time I ever saw her and I was like, wow, I love this lady. And I've just kind of followed her. She stands for women's rights, education, uh, equality. Those are the things that I look for. I believe Greg Abbott should. I believe he um, represents the majority of what Texas the Texas um, voting population needs or um, desires to have an office as governor. Part of me wants to throw out the name Wendy Davis, just I mean, just because she's been in all the news lately. But um, I don't know enough about her, her opponent or any other opponents to really fully support her. Mm -hmm.